So there's the drip, there's the leak. We're gonna replace that. This thing should be tight as a whistle as far as coolant system goes. This is the general area that the coolant leak is in. And it's hard to see exactly where this coolant leak comes from. If you just look up there, you can see that orange wire and that goes to the engine block heater, which is just around the corner to the right. It's nearly impossible to see. The camera will never be able to see it. It's basically behind the alternator on the block. So I'm gonna remove this alternator and get you a better look. I'm gonna remove this air uh, housing and hose uh, towards the throttle body, removed all that. And then I'm gonna remove this lower radiator hose, drain the coolant. Then I'm gonna remove the belt. And there's two belts on this. I don't know if you can see it, but the outside belt is the only one we need to remove. Can't find a diagram on the radiator core. Usually there's a diagram somewhere up on the hood. So anyways, I made my own, own diagram. This is the back belt. This is the front belt. So it's just a quick little reminder. Or you can use your phone and take a picture or video of it. This alternator that used to be right there, right above that oil filter, I removed that and then I removed the small tensioner right next to it. There's our tensioner. There's our alternator. Okay, this might be a little hard to see, but hang with me here. So I removed both of those things and now you can see you should be able to see that red wire and see the block heater that it goes to and that's where the leak is. With the alternator removed and I removed that one connector right there should be able to twist that right on out and replace it. You can also see this connector from the bottom. They didn't do us any favors by burying it back in there, but good news is, is you can reach that with your hand. You can spin it out and uh, we're gonna do that right now. Then here's your block heater. That's the plug, it pops straight back. Here's the wrenches I used. This is a uh, inch and five sixteenths. Pretty big socket, basically. Just find an adapter. I've got these special snap-on adapters. There's actually two of these inside of each other. One is a, one is a, come on. They got magnets right here, so they actually will stick to each other a little bit, but there's two of these inside of each other. So this first one's a three-quarter adapter, which goes into that three-quarter socket, and then this is a half to 3 8 adapter so that I can put my 3 8 ratchet with a swivel head and that's how I broke that block heater loose and then once I broke it loose and turned it just a few degrees I was able to disconnect that put the smaller ratchet on there and uh, that thing spun right out of there in no time and once you spin it out of there there's gonna be quite a bit of coolant at the bottom of the block and it's hard to drain that you can see the old block heater this is a pipe thread it wasn't even turned in all the way maybe a couple threads of that sealer was used but it is pipe thread that's so gonna tighten upon itself and you're not gonna have any leaks as long as you get this thing snugged up uh, by hand it's just nasty I don't know it's been leaking for a while it's just coolant gunked up probably probably a little bit of a electrical stuff going on there between the electrodes. Uh, maybe it's burned, I don't know. Kind of a bummer that this design doesn't last forever. This car is only five years old. That should definitely uh, be a one-time install kind of a deal. Never set it and forget it um, is what I would expect of this, but I don't know. I don't know if they're having a problem with these or what, but um, I definitely did. So at any rate, uh, get this old junk out of there, put a new one in and you're good for another five years, I guess. The other option would be to go to the hardware store and pick up some pipe. Just get a pipe plug. I believe this is a one inch pipe and uh, just replace it with a plug and you'll never have this issue again. Um, especially if you're in a southern climate, you might as well. So Ford was kind enough to uh, put some sealer on the new one here and we're going to spin this in and then we're going to top off our coolant jug. This thing is going to be perfect. I hope you liked that video and if you did, please consider smashing that like button and if you are new, please consider subscribing.